Now, I just want to demonstrate how the mind and body can work together and help you increase your performance. So, here we've got two lines, 45 degrees and 90 degrees. Then I've just got my hand here, which um, my, my joints are my joints and they, they function in a natural way for them. Okay, so let me just look at the flexibility in these knuckles here. So what I'm going to do is just this middle finger and I'm just going to pull it up until it stops. Okay, so it just stops past the 45 degree line. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to visualise my joints being nice and loose and very supple and I'm going to, uh, only for about three to five minutes, I'm going to imagine my, we're back again, I've imagined my hand being very loose and like rubber and we'll just try it again. It was only a couple of minutes I was doing that. So about here. Okay, so we've got a lot further now, so that's where it is now, and that's where it was before the visualisation. I did visualise it going all the way up to 90 degrees there. So what does that mean? Well, one, your mind affects your body, and if and it really can increase your performance if you visualise your body in, in a positive way and command it to do what you want it to do. Second is... As I say, I visualise it to go up to 90 degrees. My body physically won't allow me to go that way, but you can still use the principle. So, for example, say if you're a professional boxer and you're, you've kind of been fighting six, eight rounders um, and 12 rounds, you've got a bit of anxiety about boxing for 12 rounds because you've never done it before. What I suggest is start visualising yourself boxing 15 rounds and overestimate because then your your body will fall back down to your original goal anyway